Part 1, Watching the Big Short, I Felt a Profound Sadness It's a story that clearly depicts the downfall of folks who forgot to live on less than they make. High-risk bets, ignorance, and greed led to a financial tsunami. Was the Big Short a happy story? No, the Big Short was not a happy story, it evoked profound sadness. Does the movie depict the downfall of individuals who lived beyond their means? Yes, the movie clearly shows the downfall of those who failed to live on less than they make. Did cautious investments and wisdom lead to the financial tsunami in the movie? No, high-risk bets, ignorance, and greed led to the financial tsunami in the movie. Did the movie evoke profound sadness or immense joy? The movie evoked profound sadness, not immense joy. Is the film about people who forgot to live on less than they make or individuals who managed their finances wisely? The film is about people who forgot to live on less than they make, not about individuals who managed their finances wisely. Was the financial crisis caused by high-risk bets and ignorance, or by cautious and educated decisions? The financial crisis was caused by high-risk bets and ignorance, not by cautious and educated decisions. Was the movie's story marked by greed or generosity? The movie's story was marked by greed, not generosity. What was the narrator's emotional response to watching The Big Short? The narrator felt a profound sadness while watching The Big Short. Who does the movie depict the downfall of? The movie depicts the downfall of folks who forgot to live on less than they make. What led to the financial tsunami in the movie? High-risk bets, ignorance, and greed led to the financial tsunami in the movie. What financial principle did the characters in the movie forget to follow? The characters in the movie forgot to follow the financial principle of living on less than they make. Part 2, this event was a stark contrast to the baby steps I've taught for years. The simple principles of financial management were neglected and that led to the financial crisis. Was the event depicted in the movie in line with the baby steps principles? No, the event depicted in the movie was a stark contrast to the baby steps principles. Were the principles of financial management adhered to in the situation leading to the financial crisis? No, the principles of financial management were neglected, leading to the financial crisis. Has the narrator been teaching the baby steps for years? Yes, the narrator has been teaching the baby steps for years. Was the event a stark contrast or a perfect reflection of the baby steps principles? The event was a stark contrast, not a perfect reflection of the baby steps principles. Did neglecting or following the principles of financial management lead to the financial crisis? Neglecting the principles of financial management, not following them, led to the financial crisis. Has the narrator been teaching the baby steps for years or just started recently? The narrator has been teaching the baby steps for years, not just started recently. Did adhering to or neglecting simple principles lead to the crisis? Neglecting simple principles, not adhering to them, led to the crisis. What was the event in the movie contrasted with? The event in the movie was contrasted with the baby steps principles the narrator had been teaching for years. What led to the financial crisis according to the narrator? The neglect of the simple principles of financial management led to the financial crisis. How long has the narrator been teaching the baby step steps? The narrator has been teaching the baby steps for years. Which principles were neglected that led to the financial crisis? The simple principles of financial management were neglected, leading to the financial crisis. Part 3, the protagonists of the movie are oddball investors, contrary thinkers. They saw the cracks forming in the economy. Are the protagonists of the movie conventional thinkers? No, the protagonists of the movie are not conventional thinkers, they are contrary thinkers. Did the protagonists notice the impending economic crisis? Yes, the protagonists saw the cracks forming in the economy. Were the protagonists portrayed as ordinary investors? No, the protagonists were not portrayed as ordinary investors, they were oddball investors. 
Are the protagonists depicted as oddball or conventional investors? The protagonists are depicted as oddball investors, not conventional ones. Were the protagonists contrary or agreeable thinkers? The protagonists were contrary thinkers, not agreeable ones. Did the protagonists overlook or see the cracks forming in the economy? The protagonists saw the cracks forming in the economy, they did not overlook them. Were the protagonists typical or unusual investors? The protagonists were unusual investors, not typical ones. Who are the protagonists of the movie? The protagonists of the movie are oddball investors who are contrary thinkers. What did the protagonists notice about the economy? The protagonists saw the cracks forming in the economy. What kind of thinkers are the protagonists of the movie? The protagonists of the movie are contrary thinkers. How are the investors in the movie portrayed? The investors in the movie are portrayed as oddballs, not typical or conventional investors. Part 4 Rather than getting paralyzed by the analysis, they took a bold step and bet against the econ economy. In some ways, it could be likened to baby step 1, setting aside an emergency fund, but in this context, it was more of a gamble against the financial system. Did the protagonists become paralyzed by the analysis? No, the protagonists did not become paralyzed by the analysis, instead, they took a bold step. Did they bet against the economy? Yes, they took a bold step and bet against the economy. Can their actions be likened to baby step one in some ways? Yes, in some ways, their actions can be likened to baby step one. Did the protagonists get paralyzed by the analysis or take a bold step? The protagonists took a bold step, they did not get paralyzed by the analysis. Did they bet for or against the economy? They bet against the economy, not for it. Did they set aside an emergency fund or gamble against the financial system? In this context, they gambled against the financial system, although it can be likened to setting aside an emergency fund. Were they cautious or bold in their actions? They were bold in their actions, not cautious. What did the protagonists do instead of becoming paralyzed by the analysis? Instead of becoming paralyzed by the analysis, the protagonists took a bold step and bet against the economy. What can their actions be likened to? Their actions can be likened to baby step one, setting aside an emergency fund. What did the protagonists bet against? The protagonists bet against the economy. How does the movie relate their actions to baby step one? In the context of the movie, their bold bet against the economy could be likened to baby step one, setting aside an emergency fund. Part 5, these investors then followed a path that could be compared to baby step two, the debt snowball principle. Profits started to come in slowly, then swelled up as the housing market collapsed. Did the investors follow a path similar to baby step two? Yes, the investors followed a path that could be compared to baby step two. Did the profits come in quickly? No, the profits started to come in slowly. Did the housing market collapse? Yes, the profits swelled up as the housing market collapsed. Did the investors follow a path that could be compared to baby step one or baby step two? The investors followed a path that could be compared to baby step two, not baby step one. Did profits come in slowly or rapidly at first? Profits came in slowly at first, not rapidly. Did the housing market flourish or collapse in the movie? In the movie, the housing market collapsed, it did not flourish. Were the profits minuscule or swelling as the housing market collapsed? The profits were swelling, not minuscule, as the housing market collapsed. What path did the investors follow that could be compared to baby step two? The investors followed a path that involved taking risky financial steps, which resulted in profits and could be compared to baby step two. How did the profits come in for these investors? The profits started to come in slowly for these investors and then swelled up. What happened to the housing market in the movie? 
The housing market in the movie collapsed. How did the collapse of the housing market affect the profits? The collapse of the housing market caused the profits to swell up. Part 6. Contrary to the teaching of living a debt-free life, one of the characters in the movie, a dancer, was swamped with debt, owning multiple homes she couldn't afford. It's like trying to sell the stupid boat getting rid of unnecessary debts, but in this case, she was entirely engulfed in them. Did the character, a dancer, live a debt-free life? No, contrary to the teaching of living a debt-free life, the dancer was swamped with debt. Did the dancer own multiple homes she could afford? No, the dancer owned multiple homes she couldn't afford. Was the dancer successful in getting rid of her unnecessary debts? No, in this case, the dancer was entirely engul engulfed in her debts. Was the dancer debt-free or swamped with debt? The dancer was swamped with debt, not debt-free. Did the dancer own homes she could afford or couldn't afford? The dancer owned multiple homes she couldn't afford, not homes she could afford. Was the dancer's situation like successfully selling the stupid boat or failing to get rid of unnecessary debts? The dancer's situation was like failing to get rid of unnecessary debts, not like successfully selling the stupid boat. Was the dancer slightly or entirely engulfed in her debts? The dancer was entirely engulfed in her debts, not slightly. What was the financial situation of the dancer in the movie? The dancer in the movie was swamped with debt and owned multiple homes she couldn't afford. How does the narrator liken the dancer's situation? The narrator likens the dancer's situation to trying to sell the stupid boat getting rid of unnecessary debts. What kind of life was the dancer living contrary to? The dancer was living contrary to the teaching of living a debt-free life. What was the extent of the dancer's engagement with her debts? The dancer was entirely engulfed in her debts. Part 7. The investors had prepared themselves for the storm. With their version of Baby Step 3, an emergency fund, they braced for the economic downturn. Post-collapse, they emerged as the winners, but at a considerable societal cost. They were at ground zero, ready to build wealth, but standing on shaky moral grounds. Had the investors prepared themselves for the financial storm? Yes, the investors had prepared themselves for the financial storm. Did they have an emergency fund to brace the economic downturn? Yes, they had their version of Baby Step 3, an emergency fund, to brace the economic downturn. Did they emerge as losers post-collapse? No, they emerged as winners post-collapse. Were the investors prepared or unprepared for the storm? The investors were prepared, not unprepared, for the, the storm. Did the investors have an emergency fund or lack any financial cushion? The investors had an emergency fund, they did not lack a financial cushion. Post-collapse, did they emerge as winners or losers? Post-collapse, they emerged as winners, not losers. Were the investors ready to build wealth or lose it all? The investors were ready to build wealth, not to lose it all. How had the investors prepared themselves for the storm? The investors had prepared themselves for the storm by setting aside their version of Baby Step 3, an emergency fund. What happened to the investors post-collapse? Post-collapse, the investors emerged as the winners. Where were the investors in terms of wealth creation post-collapse? Post-collapse, the investors were at ground zero, ready to build wealth. What was the condition of the investors' moral grounds as they prepared to build wealth? As they prepared to build wealth, they were standing on shaky moral grounds. Part 8. In conclusion, the big short serves as a chilling reminder of the importance of financial literacy. It shows how straying away from simple principles like living within your means can have disastrous consequences. Does the Big Short highlight the importance of financial literacy? Yes, the Big Short serves as a chilling reminder of the importance of financial literacy. Can straying away from simple financial principles lead to disastrous consequences? Yes, straying away from simple principles like living within your means can have disastrous consequences. 
Is The Big Short a lighthearted comedy about financial management? No, The Big Short is not a lighthearted comedy, it's a chilling reminder of the importance of financial literacy. Is The Big Short a chilling reminder of financial literacy or a careless disregard for it? The Big Short is a chilling reminder of the importance of financial literacy, not a careless disregard for it. Does the movie show the benefits of straying from financial principles or the disastrous consequences of such actions? The movie shows the disastrous consequences of straying from financial principles, not the benefits. Is the movie a lighthearted comedy or a stark reminder of the importance of living within one's means? The movie is a stark reminder of the importance of living within one's means, not a lighthearted comedy. Does the movie convey a message of careful financial management or reckless spending? The movie conveys a message of careful financial management, not reckless spending. What does The Big Short serve as a reminder of? The Big Short serves as a chilling reminder of the importance of financial literacy. What consequences does the movie show as a result of straying away from simple financial principles? The movie shows that straying away from simple financial principles like living within your means can have disastrous consequences. What is the key principle the movie emphasizes as crucial to avoiding financial disaster? The movie emphasizes the principle of living within your means as crucial to avoiding financial disaster. In conclusion, what does The Big Short represent in terms of financial literacy? In conclusion, The Big Short represents the importance of financial literacy and the potential disastrous consequences of neglecting simple financial principles.